like take us on the wild ride that this film is because I felt like I was on a ride. There's so much, so many things happening. Jolt is a movie about a woman who has impulse control and who needs to jolt herself to um, keep herself from, you know, attacking people. And then she gets accused of a murder. And I am tasked to bring her to justice along with my partner, played by the brilliant Bobby Cannavale. There's chase scenes, there's explosions, there's guns. It's fun, it's funny. It is a wonderful escape from the terrors of this current world. It is a fun ride that I think we'll, um, folks will have fun with. Okay, Kate, now I want to get in a little deep here because I want to know what ticks you off. I mean, I know you have a great life, you look great, everything's good, but there's got to be some shit that pisses you off, like, you know, your character in this film. What pisses Kate off? I mean, post-COVID, mid-COVID, almost everything. Very low tolerance for people or anything happening at all. People who are slow walkers. I'm in New York now and I just, I, I walk fast. And so like, I <laughs> slow walkers are really annoying for me. Um, but that's yeah. my issue. That's not the world's issue. That's just why I'm in therapy. <laughs> you know what drives me crazy? are those recapture things that make you select images that say you're not a robot. There's always two of them now, for some reason. <laughs> like, you got it wrong, no matter what, even if you did. I always get, like, I stress out because I'm like, is that a bicycle tire? Is it not? I don't want to be the guy that, like, and I don't want to do more of them than I need to. And they're always there when you just need to get something done. And I'm not a big fan of, of rudeness. I, I don't like it when people are mean to my mum. That's when I really go crazy. Um, but, you know, the reasonable things. Loud talking in the movie theatre. You know, people farting I, in elevators. How do you handle your impulses? If somebody is very rude out of the window of a car, I will turn into a kind of street brawling thug immediately, having been in a perfectly good mood. But I can I can generally control things in life. So, I don't know, I can surprise myself. Am I good with my impulses? Um, not particularly. I'm pretty <laughs> impulsive. I can manage to, to sort of keep that to somewhere that's relatively harmless, you know? and just channel it through my online shopping or something like that. Now, if I was going to give you a jolt machine and you could yeah. put it on anyone in your life to just zap the shit out of them, who would that person be and why, Kate? What? Who would it be? Why? Because I don't like them and I want them to have an electric shop. I don't know, maybe. Can't maybe say that. They... I'm thinking of at least 13 people, but I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> You, right now. Me? You're me? <laughs> me? I'm just wearing my H&M shirt, just, Kate. What just to see what would happen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of want you to be my therapist in a way. I feel like you're very insightful and you could impart wisdom on me, Laverne. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm very wise. I am. You know, I try to, I try not to give people, uh, you know, unsolicited advice. But if you ask me, I'll tell you, honey. I'll give you the <laughs> thing. Um, you know, you play a detective in this in your real life. Are you sleuthy? Are you good at finding out shit? I am. I'm tr I don't I don't sleuth anymore. Like I used to back in the day, I, I, I was dating this guy who is kind of on the low, he was like, you know, in, in, in risk management. Actually, he was in risk management. Whenever I think of risk management, I think of Seinfeld. But this dude I was dating was in risk management. And he um, he was a compulsive liar. And um, like, he lied about everything. But I found his social media, which was private. Anyway, I don't want to get into the details. Yes, I was very good at um, getting the tea. <laughs> I was very good. I don't do that anymore, though. I trust the, if, if I need to, now I'm, I have to sleuth with someone. If I have to like, then they're the wrong person. I don't need to be in their lives. Um, and they don't need to be in my life. If I have to do all that, then they're the wrong person. So yeah. We don't would you that. like, would, would you like to possess the jolt machine? Like, would you like to just zap the crap out of some of people sometimes? Cause you know, people can be terrible sometimes. Would you like to have that jolt power? If there were no karmic retribution, yes. Like there's, un honestly, I believe in karma so hardcore. It really keeps me from doing things. Like I had these thoughts, I had these evil thoughts recently about someone who had like hurt someone that I care about. And I was started like, the scenarios were going in my head and I was like, oh girl, ooh, easy. And then like, I had to, I had to say to myself, okay, Laverne, the universe will take care of them. 
how do you make sure that your house is in order? How do I in my life, right? Like as angry as I was about what this other person was doing, I was like, okay, is your house in order? Can you, is your stuff together? How are you taking care of the people in your life the way you need to be? And so it just always comes back to me. But yeah, I have those moments where I want to, you know, jolt someone, but then ultimately I have to jolt myself. <laughs> I mean, girl, your looks are in order. Let's just, I'm just going to throw that out there again. Shit. 